Oh, God damn, we gotta stop him. Okay, just teleport, I guess. That's fine. Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to God of War! Where... I don't know where we are anymore. She controlling that thing? Whoa. Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He needs to kill you. Freya. Oh shit, here we go again. No one can. Where is he? I don't know. I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. <sighs> I will not let him die. She's a mother. This will all be over soon. So I don't What? Whoa! I don't really blame What the hell? Dude, what are you doing? Stop! He's kind of getting off on this, isn't he? <laughs> oh shit. Ow! Oh god. To consider that he hasn't felt anything in a hundred years, yeah, I kind of get it, but... I feel. I feel. Oh. Freezing. No. Stop my oh god, Freya, come on. Ow, shit! She has to come to realize that her, her son is not a great guy, you know? Oh god! Oh god, what's happening now? It's better than I remember. Come on. I'm gonna die. Do it is there any health here? No? Guess I'm fucked. Oh, unless I hit these barrel thingies. Nothing in there, alright. Oh god. Damn it, stop it, dude! Yikes! No! <sighs> Lady, you gotta realize your son has to die! Come on! Boy, the crystal. Oh shit! Hey, Mamir, you okay back there? Atreus! Okay. And I'm doing wonderful. That's great, dude. So alive. Yeah. Stop this. Arriba. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Oh. What? Feeling glorious. I forgot that a trace is up there. <laughs> I can still use him. Freya, would you cut it out? Like, seriously. Oh, God. Alright, you have a boner, we get it. Oh, God, stop! Whoa! Ooh. But he still can heal himself, is, am I right? Or is that Freya doing that? What are you doing, dude? I'll kill you. Oh god damn, we gotta stop him. Okay, just teleport, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this is so weird. I hope Freya isn't gonna do anything drastic and attack Atreus. I hope not. That's what I'm afraid of. She's gonna lose her mind. Ah! <laughs> 
No, stop, dude. Shut up, mother. Ah. Ow. I, f I forget how to dodge. There we go. I'll take care of this idiot. Ow, ow, dude, stop. Ooh, interesting. Dude, stop it. It's over. Oh, not that shit again. Come on, Atreus! No! Before you die, I want to thank you. Both of you, you've done what even the Allfather himself could not. I've never felt more alive. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's it! <laughs> You're what? dead. You're dead. No. You already know that why he won't die. Come on, you said from the beginning he was a god. You freaking know this. You gotta realize, lady, he's not going to. Let me just kill this guy in the meantime, I guess. Oh, is he dead? I'm so proud of Atreus. Interfering in my life. I was just trying to protect you. I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. 
Find forgiveness. We can build something new. That's no. No. We can. Because I will never. Lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right. Whoa! What? No, father! <laughs> I love down every agony every violation imaginable upon you oh my god i will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell that is my promise he saved your life he robbed me of everything Everything. <laughs> you were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. He did. And you do not know me. Yeah. I know enough. No, you don't. Shut up. Does he? Boy, listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not who have been who I was is not who you be we must be better well guess we are the bad guys now in her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish. 
finish this journey while I still have strength. Well, I actually got a little teary-eyed there. <laughs> I'm actually, like, very proud of Kratos and, like, this entire journey and how far they've come. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Yeah. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he no. was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. Yeah. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. He, he almost did that. There was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll yeah. come around. Eventually. Back to Tears Temple then. One last time. Ah, Finally. Jotunheim awaits. But he, uh, you know, Kratos almost did that with his daughter. Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Mm -hmm. oh, it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. It's it's true, and and that's why like I I am angry at Freya for like saying all this stuff and like pretty much trying to like kill Kratos, but I understand so from her perspective. But he only wanted a magic. Aye. Sadly. Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. Mm -hmm. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Because he's a psychopath, that's generally what Odin is. <laughs> but I'm so proud of, of Kratos and Atreus, even Atreus told his father to stop, like don't kill him walk away he's been beaten already so he learned his lesson as well and that's very very good especially considering how young Atreus is and it's very hard for like kids to understand things right so it's really nice that he's kind of like maturing in a way and forgetting all about we're gods and like we don't have time for little people's problems and all that bullshit so I'm very proud of both of them the fact that Kratos just owned up to everything hey I killed my father and I killed people who didn't deserve to die too so that's really good Mm -hmm. Well, things worked according to plan. <coughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully there's no more mishaps. Okay, let's go. Jotunheim. Alright. Please work this time, thanks. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Okay. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, oh don't say that. Consider that. Maybe we should talk <laughs> about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, Ready? great. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, boy! Jesus, is Mimir okay? We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Whoa. A word, please, before we continue. What? Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why not I wait for you here? This is between you, you sure? and the boy. True. Oh. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. 
Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, fine, damn it. Fine. Until <laughs> we return. I'll oh, send you. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Thanks, guys. Ready. Come. Oh, wow, this is so cool. We finally made it, you guys. Going to the highest peak in Jotunheim. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Here we are! Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What is he doing? What are you doing? You're gonna I take them off? More to hide. Oh. Can we go now? We're so <laughs> close. <laughs> I like how Trace does not care. <laughs> oh, see, I told you guys, he's gonna let him carry it. I'm so proud. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this is the bridge we saw in the in the light, uh, where Faye was standing. Holy hmm. crap. Boy. What? It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. But he doesn't. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright. Cool. Hello? Anybody here? Yeah, where is everyone, by the way? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, all the people on the... on the walls and stuff. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. That's what I was wondering. Did they die? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened? That's about? not good. Why'd mom send us here? One question I don't really know. And two more take its place. That's true. Huh. Okay, come on. Sorry, sorry. Huh. Who's the guardian? Alright. Lore added. Wait, father, something's happening. He touched it. Is it the the thing he absorbed in his skin? It 
Is Perhaps. that? It's Muller. Look, I'm right. She's a giant. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She's a giant. She has to be. She new giants. She's a giant. Does Kratos not know? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. What the hell? But how? What? And their fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. She is! So Kratos didn't know. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother yeah. would have had good reasons. That's really Baldi surprising. I figured. Sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing oh. she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. What is it? Yes. Yes, we are. What? What does that mean? Is Kratos gonna die? Um, okay. We're gonna scatter her ashes. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that, I guess. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching yeah. over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Okay, come on. Do you see all of that? Father? No. We do it together. Son. Fucking cry. <laughs> That's so beautiful. But I'm still worried about the drawing that we saw.
Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki. What? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Excuse me? <laughs> I am so confused. What the fuck? His name was supposed to be Loki? Okay. That could mean one of two things. Why she want to end up here? You with her kind? Oh, it's standing. Did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? I don't know. Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Wow. I am very confused and also very intrigued at the same time. What the heck? <laughs> So, um, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. The great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. That's so sweet that he named them after him. His shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. So <laughs> What's going on here? That's so sweet. He named him because oh, that's I love it. All right, time to go see Mamir. Hopefully, he's not experimented on. <laughs> but this game was so great. I loved it. Wow! He did say we have to go home, so I think I have to go home, and that's when the game ends, so... Home, but... Maybe what? helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. <laughs> Loki is the trickster god, so that makes me a little bit concerned, but then again, it could be nothing related to that, so I don't know. Alright, let's check on Mamir. Mamir? You guys? What? Lads, am I glad to see you? Did they just drop him on the floor? Dwarven charm. What happened, Mamir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> okay. Let's go home. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time what? has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's really? become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? What the hell does that mean? Winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, 
Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Oh. Snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another oh. prophecy. Great, that's nice. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. So was that what Faye wanted us to do? I don't know, I feel like maybe that's the reason why we went there. Like I said earlier, because I think Atreus was the reason they were supposed to come, but I think Faye was instigating it. I'm telling you, it's Fimble Winter. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he yeah? is, Fimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scrot. Yeah, we... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're thanks, not injury. heading home, same advice. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Oh. Um... Well, this is not good. Where's Snake Boy? Snake? All right, time to head home. Oh, man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's <laughs> a terrible pity. Okay. Come on. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the hmm. future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. To be like you, Mimir? The idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, Because he's paranoid. It's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Hey, we're back home. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. But yeah, it does. Me, it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. <laughs> Come on. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep for winter. <laughs> Alright, let's go to sleep, I guess. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Yo, what about Mimir? Did he just sleep on him? <laughs> Years later. What the Good fuck? Ball. Is that Thor? Or Odin? Or someone? Who is this? Odin? Who are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Hey, that's the ending of the game! I finished it! Alright, cool! Um, alright, so my thoughts on this game, pretty much, I I didn't expect any of this, because when it was first announced at E3, I was just like, oh hey, it's Kratos, and I wasn't really that excited because I remember the old God of War games. Like I said, I did like the story of the old God of War games, I just wasn't really into how the game was played, and even though they did do a demo at E3, um, it, to me, it did look like The Last of Us, but I figured it would be something similar to the old God of War games. That's why I wasn't really excited for it until I saw more trailers and then more interviews of, um, Santa Magda's team and, like, what they were saying. And then it got me really interested in, like, what the game could be. And I'm really glad that I bought this game for many reasons. Not only just because, you know, hey, I'm a fan of God of War, but also just because of the story and how well it was written and the fact that they changed what Kratos was. It's it's really sad that people a lot of people got mad that the team changed the original story and changed how Kratos was, that he's not this like guy who just kills recklessly and whatever. 
but they, they miss the whole point of this game and the reason why it's changing it needs to change because if it was the same thing it wouldn't one it wouldn't do well and two there's no purpose of having it as a game anymore because it'd just be fan service if you get what i mean and um it's very bold for people to especially for game developers to try to get out old game and bring it back rather than just doing like you know remaster like a lot of people do these days to do a reboot of it is very difficult and do it properly in a new way is also difficult considering where we left off with kratos and god of war 3 to change the one of the worst characters in video game history, Kratos, he's a piece of shit. He really is a piece of shit in, in God of War. The anti-hero villain guy who just murders everyone, even murdered his own family, and turned into this raging machine where he only wanted power. To now this very old wise man who has become more humane and finally became vulnerable for someone, and that someone ended up being his son. And um, I'm pretty sure it's hinted like what we saw and then that ending right there when we got to the house. There's gonna be another God of War game, which I'm pretty excited for if there is. I just don't know what the ending means because it looked like Kratos was gonna die, at least from the, the pictures on the wall. That's what it looked like to me, unless I, I'm seeing it wrong. I'm gonna have to see it again when I'm editing this video, but it just seemed like there's another purpose for Atreus and um, he's not just like, you know, hey, I'm gonna go help people. I feel like there's, there's a reason why the mother wanted Atreus to see all of that. There's, there's a bigger purpose for him and to, the fact to know that she wanted to name him Loki just says a lot of things. Like everyone was suspecting here and in my theory video and a lot of other people who have the same theory that Atreus or K Kratos was gonna bring Ragnarok and I believe it's Atreus because I don't think Kratos has anything to do with this. I think he was just supposed to bring Atreus there just so that he can learn about his past and about his mother and stuff like that. So pretty sure Atreus is going to be Ragnarok or maybe some form of it is going to be on his fault but he doesn't mean to. It just has to happen and now I'm wondering did Faye really want this to happen? Because it seems like she really did if she brought them over. But anyway, other than that, the story was very beautifully written and all the characters were great. I think I think for, for me at least, the ending or the boss battle with Baldur or whatever, I don't want to say it was disappointing, but I thought there would be something bigger, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I guess that's the whole point of this. Like, we don't need this big boss battle like the old God of War games before. We would fight Zeus, Athena, or Ares, or whatever. You know, this giant boss battle and then the game's over, right? And that's it, and you feel accomplished because you have power over someone. And that's what God of War was. But this version, there's no need to, like, fight anyone like a big boss battle or anything there's no point in that because the story is so different and the feel of this game is different that's not the whole point of this game anymore and um i kind of like that even though it would be cool to fight you know like thor or like odin or something that'd be really cool to see but i understand why the developers didn't do that for the ending and i really like that they did that i just i just really like this game a lot i didn't expect to love this game actually Re i really didn't it's it's really well written and um it, te it teaches a lot, uh, not only about the characters, but you can how you can apply it to real life. Because I know Cory Barlog um, did say he kind of saw Atreus as his own son. Like, he mimicked it in his real life. Like, his own son is, like, what Atreus is right now to him. So that's pretty cool that he was able to, you know, take his real life and, like, relate it to the game and stuff. I really like it when game developers do that. And, um... It's very realistic, to the point where if you're gonna raise a kid, I'm not saying about the magic and stuff, but I mean to the point where if you were to raise a child and stuff and to deal with that and um, to deal with Kratos' past, as someone who has a, has a dark past, you have to deal with it and the fact that you have to be humane, be a father, and be just a normal guy in reality because this guy hasn't. Now this leads us to the question as what is going to happen next? If there is going to be another God of War game, uh, what does the ending mean? Did they sleep for years? Because it says years later, so did they fall asleep for like, years? And then that's when Ragnarok is happening? Because um, Mimir did say he was he's wary of Kratos and Atreus because he believes they're going to bring Ragnarok. And um, he has every right to be because I think it's true. But it just it just means like where is this gonna this game gonna take us? All right, Atreus, present day. Are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. What? 
Fimbo winter was ending, and Thor came for us. Here so that was house. Thor. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, huh. there are still things we can do. Come. So that was Atreus's dream. So that didn't happen yet. Interesting. I guess that explains why it said years later, right? Alright, so I guess this is pretty much where it leaves us off with if you want to do like the side quests or any of the events that happen in the game. Uh, aside from the main story, you can continue. But I did say I was going to live stream this and just continue on with the uh, side quests and stuff like that. But um, this kind of leaves me with a question with you guys. Um, would you guys like to see a review, opinion, analysis, or a theory type of video? Because I would love to discuss more about this, what I think is going to happen if there is a next game, or maybe more in-depth on like what Faye was trying to convey her son and her husband to like do. Because it's kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it is vague like what happened with Faye. I get the the gist of it, but the reason why she wants to trace to see it, all of it, why she wanted to name him Loki and all of this stuff. So um, there's more to it, I know there is. I just have to like look into it really. Um, but yeah, so this comes to the end of my God of War Let's Play, and I hope you all enjoyed uh, this playthrough. I know I wasn't really the greatest at combat in this, and I did get confused at some points, because I, I remember saying stuff in the old God of War games that didn't happen with certain characters, and I kept mixing it up, so I apologize for that. But I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, did you Were you satisfied with the ending? Were you satisfied with the story overall? And um, how did you think it compared to the old games? I would love to hear your guys' opinion on it. Thank you so much for being here and watching all the videos. And uh, remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and also subscribe. Also, you can hit that bell button whenever I put out the next God of War analysis, theory, opinion, review video, whatever it is. If you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. Or you can support the channel for free with gogbox.com slash a girl in a game. Alright, well, that's the ending. And I will see you guys in the next game that I play, which I have no idea what it is. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I really love this game and how it relates. Also, I love how you give out advice. Thank you! I'm glad that you do enjoy my advice. I know sometimes I'm rambling, but Butterfly Soup is like one of the- A lot of them don't get any credit they deserve. So today, I'll be talking about 5 awesome video game sidekicks. Number 5. Daxter. Jack and Daxter series. Daxter, the 